Hello ROS developers, welcome to the ROS 2 in 5 minutes video series by The Construct, your channel for everything ROS. I'm Bayo Diade Reola, and in this video, we'll be looking at working with ROS 2 topics from the command line. Actually, this video is a kind of continuation for a video one of my colleagues made already, how to publish and subscribe to a ROS 2 topic using the command line. So if you have not watched this video, I recommend you watch it before watching this one. You'll find a link to this video in the video description. So for this video, we want to look at this topic. But before we get into that, I want to invite you especially to our webinar on how to teach autonomous mobile robots. The thing is, this course is one of the most essential courses for a robotics degree, but preparing it requires a lot of work. Now in this free webinar, we want to show you how to teach this course effectively by using ROS based robot simulation. You will find a link to this webinar in the video description. We look forward to seeing you there. So now let's get on with our work for today. So we wanted to see how to work with ROS2 topics from the command line, right? So now let's get on with the work for today. We have a project already prepared. So we just open it. So for this, we need three shells. So let's get them prepared. We prepare that also across the three shells. So now, going straight to the point, the command to use is ROS2 topic. We want to see all the commands available first. So we have it. We have echo info list pop. My colleague already took care of echo list pop. So today we are looking at info. So in the previous version of ROS2 that my colleague used, we didn't have info. So but before we can do that, we first need to create a, a topic. So now we have no topic, as you can see, ROS2 topic list, no topic. So we are going to create a topic. So we see we are creating a topic and the command is ROS2 topic pub. So this is the name of our topic, barbarians. Then we are the type of message we are publishing is standard messages string. And then the actual message is hello world. So, but here we need to add data. So, again, if you watch that video by my colleague, you will see all this where I explain them in details. So, now let's create the topic. So, we see that the topic is created. So, in another shell now, if we run ROS2 topic list, first of all, let's see. Then we see barbarians. Then we can do ROS2 topic info then we see that we, this is the info about barbarians it's the basic info topic name then the number of publishers and subscriber so the publisher is the one we just running on the command line now so we could decide to do another publication so we have it hello babs so let's look at the info again now we see that publisher count is two then but subscriber count is this zero so let's try to subscribe to this topic so we are using another terminal so ros2 topic echo so we see the two the two string being published hello world and hello babs so but that's not all let's go back to look at our info now we see that now we have a subscriber count of one just because of this command we are running from here the echo command so that's all for this video in the description you will find a link to the previous video i mentioned as well as to the webinar so we hope to see you in the next video so did you like the video if you did please give us a thumbs up remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell for a new video every day you can also leave us your thoughts in the comments area peace out Udabo.